Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, make your solder joins on your copper. First thing, which I've already done, go in there with your sandpaper. Clean the inside out real good. Whatever two faces are going to join, sand them and clean them good. I've applied my uh, Harris Safety set, uh, Stay Clean, which is, I think, the best flux going, man. It works. It makes your solder flow really nice. And then, uh, Show you how I heat it up. Okay, I'll start heating from the outside. And I'll heat it up pretty good. You can kind of tell after you've done it a few times. When it's getting hot enough to start to melt your solder. And I'll heat up a little below my solder joint. Like that in this area. And I like to try to get it all fairly hot. Help pull that solder down in the joint. Some people may disagree, may want to uh, Focus the heat in one certain spot. I like to keep it moving around. I like to get my whole joint pretty warm before I really start to put the solder to it. Now right, we'll see what we got here. Put the camera back down. Alright, I think you can see that. It's probably not hot enough yet. We'll try it. Takes a minute on fitting this size, it pulls a lot of heat away. It'll get there. Probably better heated on the bottom side anyway, as the heat travels up. Getting close now. See the solder starting to melt? Here we go. See the solder starting to work. I like to stay ahead of it. Hope you can still see. Alright, I'm having trouble doing this because the camera's in the way. There we go. Now you can see it flowing, see it pulling around the uh, rest of the joint. It'll suck it right in. There you go. See how it's pulling that around? There you have it. That's a joint that should not leak. Hopefully. There you go. Maybe that'll help somebody out.